Hey everybody, it's Blah Blah Peas, and welcome to the finale of Terra's Story in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. So, in the last episode, we went from cheerio, happy-go-lucky Neverland where people never grow old, to fighting with our master over at the land of departure basically killing him and finding out that master Xehanort has been pulling some strings and we have to go stop him from killing Vin and Aqua he also wants Terra to give into the darkness for some unspecified reason but coming back here the world seems to start falling in darkness now. Huh. Now there's some chests over here. Huh. I can go around and collect all these, but aside from the little chine that we get from collecting huh. chests, huh. Yeah. it's quiet. It's completely silent. The road forward has collapsed. That's their way of saying there is no return. So with that, let's collect this last chest up here and finally head to the Keyblade Graveyard. Real quick before doing that, we just unlocked another Keyblade. A keyblade with long reach that does little for your magic, and by little it means actually lowers it, but provides an outstanding boost in strength. Let's go ahead and equip that for now. As for our commands, I still need Firaga and Blizzaga to level up so I can keep the abilities. Aurora, though, I can switch out. There's nothing that I'm like, oh my god, I gotta have it. Except for Geo Impact and our Solemn, but I need room for that, which is why I want to get rid of Firogla and Blazaga. But good news is leveling it up should not be too difficult. Well, leveling them up rather. The Keyblade Graveyard. Let's visit this world. And see what Xehanort's up to. do for friendship Now, it's really cool about the logo for the Keyblade Graveyard, aside from the Keyblade being backwards for the D. Because there's, like, the Keyblade Graveyard, the D was backwards, but anyway. The D was made out of the Kingdom Keys uh, handle. And then the first and last letters of Keyblade Graveyard, aside from the D were shaped like Aqua, Terra, and Ventus's Wow. Finale of Terra Story, and I'm still using Triangle to try to open chests sometimes. Ah. The letters were made up of the Keyblade tips 
of their default weapons. All right, let's head up here. Open the giant chest. What do you guess? Map. And for a final world, there's really not much to this one. It's a wasteland. And eventually there's going to be a graveyard. Hence, Keyblade Graveyard. And a crater the shape of the Mickey Mouse logo. So that is a thing. A tornado flew around my room before you... <laughs> Seriously, tornadoes. What? Tornadoes? Tornadoes being enemy spawns. And holy giant unburst. But seriously, why suddenly the game decides instead of just having enemies along the way, there's going to be a way to run into them as if they're like wild Pokemon or something. And then of all the ways to actually do it, they decide on tornadoes? Oh, I did not realize I was already on surprise. Yeah, I'm already about to die against the unversed. I don't even want to fight Xehanort right now. Oh my god. Are you serious? Like, I cannot get out of the way. I cannot avoid- I'm about to- Wow! Wow, I need to level up Fire Raga and Blizzaga, but... Whoa! I was not expecting that at all, honestly. Can you guys go down a little faster this time, please? And I'm really under level for this. Aren't I in my mid-20s right now? I think I'm in my mid-20s right now. I'm low level. Well, I'll find out for sure next time I level up, if I level up in this fight. But giant unverse, my god! Okay, uh, cure, cure, cure. What do I have cure so- Whoa! Oh boy. The command deck is still so uneasy for me. Like, I, I still freak out and spaz whenever I'm trying to scroll through the commands, and I'm definitely gonna keep showing that all the way to the final fight. I'm not looking forward to that. Seriously, I'm so underleveled, and I do not feel like level grinding. I ain't about that life. Can you stop jumping, please? Alright, level 24. I'm approaching mid-20s right now. Wow. Alright, please kill at least one of these things. Or a lot of them. And I can't tell if that's max level for Blizzaga or Faraga or not. If it was, great. Mission accomplished. If it wasn't, I gotta do another one of these. Stop jumping! My god, stop! No, 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 no. Back, 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 back. Kiraga, please. Thank you. Did you really just unlock from the gigantic, rapidly jumping boot? How do you unlock from that? Come on, Sarah. Now here's one positive thing is after you come out of the tornadoes as the more are approaching you, this is your chance to actually pause. All right, once more and second chance are now ours. Let's throw in these two. Brutal Blast is nice. Fire Surge is nice. I think I prefer Freeze Raid over Fire Surge, though. Just because it's long range. And there's some invincibility frames while it's being used. Kiraga and Kiraga, might as well just lead those as is, and this is what I'm going with now. No, move. Yeah, you can seriously avoid all these tornadoes just by constantly double dodging. Oh well. 
Oh my god, they're huge! This is so awkward! Also, my stuff is not fully recharged yet. It'd be great if it was. Okay. Doesn't look like I'll be in this one for too long. Not too many enemies, and they go down rather quickly. Two more. And I'll actually show these off. And now you see why that was worth two gauges. The other one, however, kind of got blocked by these guys, so they didn't show it off. But oh well. Jail Impact is already leveled up, and I've only used it once. Duraga. There we go. Knock him on the ground. Can I move around him, please? Thank you. Oh, you completely missed, sir. Alright. Looks like he's the last one, so should go down rather quickly if I can get behind him. My god, stop it! You're only being annoying. You're not even hard. You're annoying. I hate when enemies are just annoying and not difficult. Your stupid gimmick just makes the fight take longer. Okay, move, move, move. Move, 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 move. Yeah, and that giant wasteland of tornadoes is your only other room. You've got the area where you're introduced to the world, that area, and then basically your final chance to rest. You can come over here to the shop, buy anything you think you might need, and this is it. Buy whatever you need in order to start leveling them up, melding them, whatever you need. And there you go. But, I have the main three abilities I need. Once more, Second Chance, and Leaf Bracer. I've got two of the most powerful commands in the game, alongside Brutal Blast and Freeze Rage, just because it was my personal choice. Two Kiragas, just in case. Let's do this. Level 24. Most people are between levels 35 and 50 at this point of the game. I'm extremely under level. Man, just look at all these keys, just. <laughs> I'm a key plate wielder. Is my key gonna be stuck in the ground for all eternity? I hope not. I was told the master was struck down. <laughs> yes, that's right. I was stupid and helped saying or do it. <laughs> the master, he tried to hurt Ben. I only fought because I wanted to protect him. But I was tricked. Xehanort set the whole thing up. Also, he could awaken the darkness inside me. You were right, Aqua. And so was the Master. I did need to be watched. I went astray. But no more. What else is darkness but hate and rage? 
Xehanort is feeding the dark fires within you, making you fight. You'll go astray again. Tell me, how does that honor our master's memory, Terra? Xehanort wants me and Benitez to fight. Make some kind of keyblade. But the Master said we can't let that happen. And he tried to destroy me for it. Keyblade? I still don't know exactly what it is. But it scares me to death. Even just the thought of it. Relax, man. We're here, and we're gonna take care of you. <laughs> I may have to fight Vanitas after all. If I do, guys, I... I want you to... The three of us can never be torn apart, all right? I'll always find a way. I'm asking you, as a friend, just put an end to me. Lifeless keys used to be full of power. United with the hearts of their masters. On this barren soil, keyblades of light and darkness were locked in combat. As a great keyblade war raged, countless keyblade wielders gave up their lives, all in search of one ultimate key. And it will soon belong to me. Keyblade!
divides darkness and light. And I was not wrong! Terra! My friend, Ven. You tell me, Xehanort. What did you do to him? Why, I did him a favor and freed the darkness inside him. Alas, poor Ventress never had the fortitude for such strenuous trials. This game took a tremendous dark turn. Seriously, we went from Neverland to killing our master to this. An old man capable of holding a teenage boy up with one hand by the head. And then ultimately just freezing him and throwing him off a cliff. Now honestly, this fight is not all that bad if you start off with that shock lock and then I wish I was just a little stronger so I could pull it off from the get-go but oh, can I lock on please lock on and maybe I'll win this fight thank you game too slow too slow still too slow oh well I guess so because he got me but yeah focus on Vanitas for this and the first portion of this fight is rather easy Go take what Ventus owes you, and take Aqua's life. You see how powerless you are to save them. Savor that rage and despair. Let it empower you! You will pay, Xehanort. Was my master? No. My father, Ericus, not enough for you? Leave my friends alone! Yes, boy, that's it. More! Let your whole heart blacken with anger! And just when he thought things couldn't get any darker. Both literally and figuratively, it just did. Now, defeat Xehanort. Oh, you know, the guy that can teleport. Yeah, no biggie. Ignore the teleporting. Just fight. Just fight. No biggie. But yes, having these extra commands are solemn. Geo Impact, they're going to help a lot. Once more, second chance, as you already just saw, helped out a lot as well. But now, okay, Thunder, that's cool. Um, was not expecting that at that very moment in time. But yeah, four and a half gauges of health. By far the most we've seen so far by a full gauge. But he's going down rather quickly. All right, that's actually very nice. There's just three squares in a row. No big deal. All right, Brutal Blast did not connect all the way because he teleported. That's... No, not... No! No, 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 Did not want to do that. Did not want to do that. Did not want to do that. Revert. I got rid of my Kiraga completely because of that. 
I did not mean to hit right on my D-pad at all. Oh, uh, okay, that's cool. Nah, just summon a giant typhoon of Keyblades at me. That's fair. I wish I could say I could do that, but apparently I cannot. Okay, please come back, come back, come back. Thank you. All right, you know what? Oh, you son of a gun. How are you just going to teleport for me the last second? And so far only, okay, I'm about to say only three of those even hit? That was ridiculous. And he's taking a lot more damage than Ericus was. I know my strength went up, but jeez. Ericus did not take that much damage from a counter hammer. At all. Alright, kind of ignoring the Keyblades right now and just getting behind him and attacking. Surprise, just do not teleport. Alright, after the hit, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. Leave Bracer, I love you. Um... Okay, can I lock on? Oh, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm so dead. I'm dying. Okay. Just don't attack. Okay. That should be it. I should win. And there's the win. Truly won? Well, you're falling my HP just increased. How have you won? Oh, by the way, get bonus, HP increase. This battle is not over. Oh. oh, there, you see? The Keyblade has been forged! Then! And now, Terra, it is time for the final union! What? At last, our moment is here. Out with the old and brittle vessel, and in with a younger, stronger new one! I swore I would survive. And be there to see what awaited beyond the Keyblade War. And now it is your darkness that shall be the arc that sustains me! This heart belongs again to darkness. All worlds begin in darkness, and also end. The heart is no different. Darkness sprouts within it. It grows, consumes it. Such is its nature. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. submits your heart succumbs so why does your mind resist
Young Xehanort, Terranort, whatever you want to refer to him as. The most annoying fight in the game. So to start things off, I actually went ahead and let him kill me, which is why you notice that the music suddenly kind of stopped. But basically, I wanted him to give me enough time to replenish all my commands to max, focus gauge, everything. Just wanted everything at max to start this fight off because it is an annoying fight. I want to have everything at my disposal and probably the number one most useful thing for me is what some people find a useless ability surprise so what I love about surprise is that let me get close invincibility frames he cannot touch you while you're doing this and then when you will finally attack him it deals a lot of damage and he drops eight, uh, not, yeah, HP balls. I don't know why I was, I looked at the money and then said HP balls and I threw myself off. But anyway, I am low level. I am only level 24. So having once more and second chance are basically my only reasons for being alive at any point during this entire battle after any combo. Or after any heavy hit, rather. But... Typically, any combo at this level would just straight up kill me. Now, let me go ahead and... Oh, no. Alright, the disability frames, as long as he doesn't leave my side, I'm okay. Now, give me some of that. Okay. So now I don't need a cure. It'd be nice, but I don't need a cure right now. And what I... Ah, oh, crap. Two things. One, I hate when I get hit when I'm spamming square because I end up doing that retaliation slash thing whenever I get hit and that ends the combo and I die. Second thing, that, that portion of the fight, I love using my shot lock command, Dark Volley, so that I can deal a lot of damage to him. I'm invincible during the whole thing. And unfortunately, I missed my opportunity to do it. So that kind of upset me. Come close, come close. No, or not. Not at all. That's cool, too. Yeah, see, the reason this is the most annoying fight in the game for me is not because, like, oh, it's the final boss. Duh. No! The fact that I don't know what he's doing! He'll do any move at any time he may or may not flinch when you attack him. It's so obnoxious. Like, right there whenever I was using Surprise, sometimes he flinches to that. Sometimes things just carry on all normal. Well, whatever normal is. Like, right there. He finished the attack. I don't know what was different there. I honestly have not the slightest idea as to why... One time, he flinches and takes damage and goes back, and another time, he keeps wailing at me and may or may not hit me. I don't know. I don't know. That's all I can say about 99.9% .9 of this fight is I don't know. I have no explanation for what's going on half the time. Now here, let me roll out of the way. Now here's the problem with this. He teleports. So, they thought ahead for people trying to use this kind of exploit, but I don't care. Oh, I, I do care about him having Chiragan potentially using two at the same time. Okay, please come a little closer. I have lost? Well, seems you lost that little battle. I'm actually doing decent. I'm surprised. I mean... Granted, the first time I played through this game, I didn't know how to get once more, second chance, leap bracer, none of that. So, I was in my mid-level 30s, for the sheer fact that I got an ability that I never even showed off during this. I think it's just straight up called EXP Walker? 
And if that is what it's called, then it's, as you may have guessed, you gain experience as you walk. So, I was in my mid-level 30s because the more I walked, the more experience I got. And I actually leveled up while doing this fight because every time I retried, I would keep the experience. And, oh boy. Move, move, move. Okay. I, did, I meant to dodge roll a little later than that, but okay. Please, please lock on. I'm dead. I'm deader than dead. Come on, just keep doing that. If you keep doing that, I'm fine. Just do not dark volley me. There we go. I'll take a hit. I will take a hit. I'm glad. But anyway, ESP Walker. You can't experience as you walk. Like, one step is one experience point. So I leveled up from running around and fighting Xehanort. And eventually, when I reached the upper level 30s, I just won. I had no idea how to meld uh, Fyra and Fyra with Pulsing Crystal to get, like, I, I don't know which one it was, I honestly forget. I just know it's Fyra, Fyra, Arrow, Arrow, Blizzara, Blizzara. Two of them have a Pulsing Crystal, one has a well, spring Crystal. Anyway... I didn't know how to use any of those. Well, I didn't know how to meld any of those specifically to get those abilities. So... That's when I first fell in hate with this boss. You ever heard of falling in love? Well, this is falling in hate. His moves are just so random. Like, you never know what move he's gonna use when because he uses them at any random time. You don't know when the game's actually gonna allow you to block, and sometimes I block when I by no means should have been able to deflect, block anything. I mean, hey, that's how I won one of the matches, but hey, it shouldn't have happened, and I hate inconsistencies in battles. There should be a reason for everything that happens, not, uh, wait, huh? Like, that should never happen. Alright. I think I'm done ranting about the fight. Let's see if I can actually win this time. And sometimes that move gets blocked completely. Sometimes you get shot in the air and it's impossible to avoid. I hate this fight. I despise this fight with a passion. It is not an easy fight. It could be easy, but the rain factor. That's where the difficulty lies. All right, get some HP back. And he randomly guarded there. He could have attacked me, but he guarded. Thank you, Lee Bracer. Best friend in that little equation right there. Come on, get by me. That's not by me. That, how did that hit me? I'm in this face deflecting. How did that hit? How is that hitting me? Um, there we go. Surprise again. All right. Down to a little under two gauges. Okay, I had to let go there. I was losing way too much focus. And yeah, they haven't even started coming down. They just started coming down. Wait, am I? Oh my god, I'm hitting him a bit. He must have used Kiraga and immediately started getting hit. Yep, he was just under two gauges. Now he's got almost. Well, he had almost three. Alright, that's cute. Just using Dark Volley. Oh no. Woo, I'm surprised I dodged any of that. Okay. As long as he doesn't use Dark Volley when I run away, I'm okay. Because that gives me time to cure, that gives me time to run. Did he avoid my attack by using Kiraga? I hate him. Alright, and dodge. 
Pretty simple to dodge, really. I just hate how he's got cure. At all. Okay, three of those came up at the same time. I also have no idea what determines where those things come from. But hey, I actually blocked all of them, so I'll take that. I'll take whatever I can get in this fight. Alright, Jiraga. Leaf Racer to just breathe right through that. Alright, surprise, there we go. I just avoided a lot. And I ended up being a 1 HP anyway. Oh my god! Please. Thank you. I I honestly had no idea whether or not I was gonna make it through that. Alright, use way more focus than I would have liked to, but I'm getting hits. I'm still getting hits. I'm still getting hits. Please tell me he did not use Kiraga. I can't tell because I can't lock on yet. Okay, there we go. He's almost at one bar. Oh no. Okay, no, as long as I'm above 1 HP. Oh, I'm out. Yeah, that move sucks because he can randomly use that when he's in the middle of the arena. No! I don't know why I went to art. Okay, okay. I don't know how I switched to that instead of using Kiraga, but at least I made it out. Oh boy. Oh crap! Okay. Use a standard attack. Oh, oh no. Come on, use a standard attack by me. That's what that's what I'm talking about. Do it again. That's not a standard attack, that is dark volley. There we go. No. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please. I was begging for a block and I actually got it. Not even bad. Alright. What is bad is that he's at a little over half a gauge of health and I have no idea what he's about to start doing. Alright, that's fine. As long as he's not in the middle of the arena, because when he's in the middle of the arena, that is unavoidable. Oh, wait. Oh, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Wow. That sucks. That sucks. If I had just been a little faster, this battle would be over. Wait a minute. Did he cure? Did he cure? What? No, he's just not taking that much damage. You have lost. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Alright, Chiraga. Yeah, monkey see, monkey do. Take that. It's over. Oh man, if I were above level 24, that would have been a lot easier, but oh well, I did it. Yay, cool, I killed you and took your last piece of paper with your writings. Cool, I might have gotten your autograph, and now that you're dead, it's worth more. Woo!
Aqua. Then, one day, I will set this right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Terra Story and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. There's one or two other things that we can do, but I'm going to hold off on those or that. I just don't want to specify how much or little it is, but anyway, we're going to be going through Vin's story next, followed by Aqua. And after we're done all of them, I'll take care of the extras that are like Final Mix exclusive. But, yeah, I'm surprised that that battle didn't take me extremely high numbers of attempts. Like, I'm pleasantly surprised. The surprise surprised me. Like, I didn't think it was going to pull through as much as it did. I wish I had that during my first playthrough. During my first playthrough... I don't even remember what I had. All I know is that I had the EXP Walker, which I could probably go back and look up what you need to actually meld. But off the top of my head, I don't remember. I just accidentally melded it during my first playthrough back when I was in Disney Town. So yeah, I had the Experience Walker from Disney Town. Walking. Each step gives you one experience point. During that fight against Xehanort, I had to have gone from level 32 to 38. I don't know. So I'm throwing random spitball numbers out there because I honestly have no idea. All I know is I kept leveling up. My strength, magic, defense, all that. All of it went up. And the funny thing is, I'm stubborn and arrogant. I will think that, oh, it's possible I just done goofed or the game is being stupid or he's being unfair, but I can win. So instead of level grinding or figuring out, oh, once more, second chance, they're so easy to get. <laughs> Fire a fire a wellspring crystal, bizarre bizarre pulsing crystal. Yeah, no problem. But no. What would have taken me five minutes to me was no, I could beat him in five minutes. And then five hours later. But yeah, once more in second chance, surviving combos. As long as you have more than one HP, surviving a heavy hit as long as you have more than one HP. I survived with one HP, coincidentally, after his normal combo. So if I got hit by anything else, I was dead. But his standard combo, I could survive it once. I can't remember exactly how I made it through, but I eventually made it through. That was by far my worst experience of all of Kingdom Hearts. Because normally, like, difficult, fine. But limited commands, having to shuffle through them to get to Kiraga, and a very, wow, most common Kiraga times 100. Most used D-Link, Ventus times 1. Dang. T -t Dang. In most used command style, critical impact, go figure. There you go. 49% report completion. That's it. 1,463 enemies defeated. That's it. And you can ignore that playtime because once or twice I may have left my PlayStation on overnight instead of turning it off whenever I was rendering videos and I immediately continued recording. So that's what may have happened there. This definitely did not take 17 hours. I swear it took a maximum of 10 minutes to buy what I needed, grind the levels, and then open up the video again to meld them together. So 
getting once more second chance and leap racer add 10 minutes to the whole playlist that's how long this actually took that's 17 and a half hours jeez but anyway with all that said I'm gonna save the game but get back to the main menu and personally I just always save over new data just because I like having the old save files just in case because you never know when where or why you'll want to go back to a certain spot Yet be sure to hang on to this clear data. You may find a use for it down the line. There's your hint as to there's more. Hi, intro. I love doing that, I don't know why. But yeah, these three guys went through some stuff. And you see that little guy on the bottom right, Mickey? Yeah, we showed... I'm, I'm sorry, the game showed him leaving Yensid's tower when Terra went there for the first time. And then showed him for a brief second during the final world. Where was he in all this well maybe we'll see him more in Vinan Aqua's story so next time on Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep we're basically starting over from the beginning of the game but this time we're going through Vin's story and until then thank you all very much for watching goodbye